Update. Girlfriend wanted an open relationship so I broke up with her, now she wants to get back together. Original post. I 23 male, was dating my ex 23 female, up until a month ago, we were together for 4 years before that. So, before we broke up, she was acting distant for a good month, then as of last month sat me down and asked for an open relationship. The minute those words came out of her mouth, I broke up with her. I came into this relationship expecting a monogamous relationship, and now she wanted to change the relationship. I only want to be with one person, and if we couldn't agree on that, I saw no future. And with the way she was acting before this, I just can't trust her, and even if she wasn't acting shady, I wouldn't be able to trust her anyway for suggesting it. Those are some of the reasons I decided to break up with her in that moment, even though it might seem harsh. In my opinion, if someone wants a relationship like that, the relationship should start like that for it to be healthy, not just dumped on your partner after years of monogamy. Now I've been getting texts and voicemails from her, crying to take her back, and that she didn't mean it. I'm not sure what to think. Some people have been telling me that I acted too rash, and didn't even give us time to work it out, and that it was cruel of me to do that. Is this something I acted too quick with or not? Now for the top advice before reading the update. I think you did the right thing. I was in a similar situation, and I'm thankful that I stuck with the decision to break up with her. Any doubts you have currently will fade with time. You can't help but suspect that she suggested this because she already knew who she wanted to sleep with, given that she was distant for a month leading up to this. The only time I think an open relationship has a chance is if you are on good terms when it's suggested, not distant for a month leading up to it, and you are both on board from the get-go. Neither applies in your case completely agree that it needs to be from the get-go. Nope. You went with your instincts, and they were correct. If she wants to sleep with other people, she can do it without you. I don't understand why she feels like she needs you. You gave her exactly what she wanted, why isn't she happy? Exactly, she got what she wanted. A pass to sleep with other people, just without the boyfriend. Good for you. She probably had someone in mind, it didn't work out, and now she's crawling back. You know what you want in a relationship, and she's not it. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I found out that she cheated, either emotionally or physically already, and was just trying to use it as an excuse. I can't trust a person who suddenly wants to turn a monogamous relationship into an open or poly one, especially with the way she was acting the month before this all happened. I spend too much time on this sub, and situations like yours almost always seem to start with a partner getting a wandering eye and wanting to cheat without consequences, so the idea of open relationships gets brought up. I think your instincts are correct. I commend you for being put together enough to know what you want and secure enough to not compromise your values. She meant it. The new guy just didn't work out. You're just the backup, and after four years, that's all you'll ever be. There's no future for you with her. That's what I'm thinking. New guy or girl didn't work out, or it wasn't what she actually wanted. Your ex should be blocked on everything. She failed the life partner test, and there's no unringing the bell. And now for the update. I thought I would give an update since people DM me to post one when I can. I didn't expect to update this soon though. After posting and expressing to some people that I had a suspicion she cheated on me, I couldn't get the nagging feeling out of my head. I didn't want to know at first, but decided to go digging and ask mutual friends what ex had been up to that month she was acting shady. I didn't expect one of her closest friends to spill the beans, but she did. My suspicions were correct, she had been cheating on me with a mutual friend's cousin. So I decided to message the guy on Facebook, and when I messaged him, he wanted to meet in person, so I met him at a local pub. When I got there, he apologized and explained everything. How he didn't know she was in a relationship, and that the day she called me wanting me back, is the day he found out and broke it off. I can't fault the guy, he seemed genuine and really apologetic. On the plus side, I drank for free the entire time. He seems like a great guy, especially considering how he broke it off right away once he knew. I won't lie, he's a handsome and great guy, and I would let him bang me to rub it in my ex's face lol. But at least I have a bit of closure now. I've blocked my ex on everything, and I'm gathering her stuff she left here to mail to her so she doesn't come knocking. It's taking a lot of power not to leave a note in the box along the lines of Mark seems nice, too bad you lost him too. Sorry if some of this makes no sense, I'm typing this on phone, and my fat thumbs are doing me no favors. It also doesn't help I'm a bit tipsy, but I'm glad I could vent and get advice from you beautiful people of Reddit. I can't fault the guy, he seemed genuine and really apologetic. On the plus side I drank for free the entire time. He seems like a great guy, especially considering how he broke it off right away once he knew. 
I won't lie, he's a handsome and great guy, and I would let him bang me to rub it in my ex's face lol. When I read this, instantly in my mind the word legendary popped up. Well, he is a great fellow. For what it's worth, you seem to also be a great fellow. Good for you man. Congrats. Sounds like you made a new friend at least, though. We have each other's numbers now, so we'll probably hang out with him again. So happy you found out the truth. It hurts now, believe me I know from personal experience, but you will move on. Definitely hang out with Mark, seem like a cool dude. Don't rush back into dating, enjoy the single life. Hey, you might have a close friend out of the mix. My closest friend for about a decade was the other guy. In the beginning I hated him and he wasn't as genuine as this guy, and I even ran him over with my car. We were best friends for about 10 years after that. Ha, reminds me of my best friend. Hated him and he hated me. Got in a punch-up one day, then somehow became best friends. Next story. 28 male, 29 female. My girlfriend cheated on me. I have decided to end things after a month of deliberation, but the situation has become complicated. As per the title, my girlfriend of 5 years informed me that she had cheated on me with one of her friends whilst on a trip away. She had always gone on a lot of trips with people, one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, but I trusted her and had no issues with this. She informed me three months after it happened that she had slept with one of her friends in a hotel room. She actually discussed it with a mutual friend first before telling me to ask whether she should actually inform me, which upset me a bit more on top of the act itself. She claims this was a one-time thing and nothing like this had happened or would happen again. She was obviously very remorseful, but this was still a massive shock. She had cheated on a past boyfriend, which always worried me a bit, but he was an awful partner, so I understood to some extent the circumstances. My initial instinct was to break up, but I decided to give it a couple of months on the basis that she would show what I believed to be remorse and steps to change herself. Part of me worries that I initially made this decision based on the complications of a breakup, being that we own a house together and have a dog. I pushed this to the side though, as I genuinely loved her and didn't want things to end. I realized shortly before Christmas that this wasn't working for me, as I can no longer see a future with her. We had discussed marriage and kids, but I can't imagine that with someone who cheated on me. I decided to wait until after Christmas to break up, so as to not complicate existing holiday plans. However, on Christmas Eve, her dad was diagnosed with late-stage cancer. Doctors have suggested he has around three months to live, though it could be less. My girlfriend, who is a nurse, has stopped working temporarily to become a full-time carer for her dad along with her sister, as they don't really have anyone else who can help. Part of me thinks I should delay the breakup, and one of my friends thinks it would be cruel to break up with her now, with everything going on. I think it would be worse for me to now hold off on breaking up with her, as I have no idea how long it is before it would be a good time for it. I presume there will never be a great time, but this timing is particularly awful. I feel terrible about this timing though, and despite what she has done, I would like to remain friends with my girlfriend due to groups of mutual friends, and because she has been my best friend for like 7 years now. I don't want to ruin any chance at friendship by doing something rash, but I think it would be wrong to stay with her when I know I want to end things. She has moved back in with her dad, and is coming home to our shared house once or twice a week currently. Should I break up with her when she comes back for one of these visits? I feel horrid, and I don't know if that's the right way to approach the situation, or if anyone can suggest a good way to tackle this. Sorry for any errors, I'm stressing a bit at the moment, and have written this on a bit of a whim, as my friends who I would discuss this with have got very different opinions. Now for the top comments. There's never a good time to break up with someone. In my opinion, better to break up now, than to delay it and stay when you're obviously not feeling it. Senior year of high school, my best friend's girlfriend broke up with him. I took him out to talk about it, and while we were out, his mother was hit by a car and died. Everyone told his ex-girlfriend that she should take him back etc. She did not. It was awful, but now as an adult, I think she did the right thing. There is never a perfect time. Awesome, first comment was the only good bit of advice from what I've read, so thanks for that. Pretty much what I was thinking, just going to be difficult. Sorry to anyone who has more to say, I won't be checking this account again. She wasn't thinking about anyone but herself when she cheated, and sometimes you need to think the same way to free yourself from people like that. Best of luck. I know this is going to sound odd, but this might actually be a good time to break up with her if you are still on cordial terms, but not in the normal relationship phase. She's going to need a lot of support and maybe saying, I want to support you as a friend, but I think our relationship needs to be put aside and for you to concentrate on your dad. 
This isn't a good time, but you also can't know when a good time will be. What if her father lives more than three months? How long do you allow her to grieve after he passes before breaking up? If you try to wait for a kinder time, you could be waiting six months or even longer. By then, she could still be upset and blindsided because you'd be breaking up for her cheating nearly a year ago when she thought everything was fine between you two. I think unfortunately even waiting until the holidays was a misstep, but a very kind and good-natured one. If I were you, I would break it off as soon as possible, and if you still want to be kind you could offer to take the lead on the house sale, help her move her things or organize others to do it, and anything else that lets her focus on her family, and less on the breakup. You don't have to do that, I don't think she deserves it, but you do seem to want to hurt her as little as possible, and I think that's really big of you given the circumstances. Thankfully you'll have the house to yourself in the meantime, it seems so you won't have to be near each other often. I would break it off with her sleeping in separate beds, but tell her you'd be willing to put off selling the house etc until it's easier for her to manage. That way, she won't have to try to juggle going back and forth between two houses if she'd rather stay at her dad's. Last story. My male 23, girlfriend female 24, cheated on me three years ago. As weird as it may sound, this is really a situation I am in right now. Me and my girlfriend are together for more than five years. One friend of mine told me some accusations of my girlfriend cheating in January 2022, but had nothing to back it up with. Since then, I caught myself not being able to get rid of that weird feeling that she actually might have cheated on me. Around three days ago, I decided to go through her phone out of the blue. I had no real reason for it at the time, but still did it. Fair enough, I found something in her chat with her female best friend. It was about when I confronted my girlfriend with the accusations my friend made, and to my surprise, they were plotting how to not admit to me that my girlfriend cheated, and to keep the truth away from me. It wasn't that hard to find something to back it up after that in her chats with the guy she cheated on me with, as she is still friends with him. In the past, she told me that she slept with him before we became a thing. When I found out that she cheated, I wasn't sad, not even angry. To my sincere confusion, I felt relief. She was lying to me for over three years, and now I had proof. When I confronted her yesterday and I asked her about it, she still denied it. She broke down and said she was sorry, only when I told her that I have proof and it might be over. She told me crying that she couldn't tell me because I would be hurt. Truth be told, I know that she knew I could leave her, and that's why she didn't tell me. She didn't show any remorse during those three years. How am I supposed to believe her now? Since then, she is trying to win me back, telling me not to throw away everything beautiful we've been through, and I am not sure how to act. It is my first relationship and one could say my first true love, and after five years, it feels really hard to let go. We are together since I was 17, and I could say we grew up together. I suffer from clinical depression and she held me through my ups and downs, making it even harder. One part of me wants to be with her for some reason, but the more rational part knows that it's not possible. Because of all that, my head is a big mess right now. I don't wish this to anyone and feel sorry for everyone that had to go through something similar. Your response to her is this. I know now you will lie to me to keep the truth from hurting me, going so far as to conspire with friends to keep the truth from me. You're also willing to do things that require you to lie to me. You knew I could never know about this and still be happy, and you chose to do it anyway. I know that I will never know the truth from you without becoming a snoopy suspicious bastard, and I don't want to be that person. You mention all the good times we had, but those good times depended all the while on me not knowing the truth. I don't want to need to be in the dark to be happy. So I'm moving on. I feel like this is something that I needed to hear from someone else. Thank you very much. You need to break up with her. She conspired with her friends to keep this from you and still hangs out with the dude she cheated with. If she was actually remorseful, she would have cut it off with him, but she didn't. You'll never trust her again. You can forgive her, but it will never be the same man. End it and find someone who respects you, because she clearly doesn't. How are you throwing everything away? Pretty sure she did that by cheating, and even planning with her friend how to hide it from you. She is not sorry about sleeping with someone else, she is sorry she got caught. She and her friend are for the streets. Still friends with the affair guy. Damn, she never took that knife from your back, did she? How the hell does she expect you to believe that she has been truthful with any of her activities in the whole relationship, when she is bold enough to keep him anywhere near her? Keep strong, do what's needed to leave this all behind. 